you think you're doing things the same, but oh, little differences. Game shot on the second leg. Oh, that was lovely. Tony O'Shea. From old Silverback. The 101. And he may be getting six here. 32. Six it is. Tony required 40. Tops for Tony. And game Tony shot. takes out Tops. O'Shea, Tony O'Shea. Spectacular on doubles in that game. It's another defeat for Scott Walters. That pretty much puts him out of the picture. And the remaining four will fight it out for the three places available at finals night. Tony O'Shea is firmly in that fight. Flawless finishing. See Silverback pick up the points. He's now got six of them, as have both Jim McEwen and Moreno Michaels, and they're in action next. Still, my favourite moment has to be Luke Littler at 16 years old, handing the trophy to the 56-year-old Jim McEwen at the end of that series. Just tells you everything about this sport. No barriers. No limitations. Game shot on the double first 16 leg. is no problem Jim for Jim McEwen, who takes the opening leg. Moreno, you require 96. Has he overthought this? Should he have just gone for it? Maybe he has. Double nine. Game shot on the fifth leg. And the leg has got away Moreno from Jim McEwen. Michaels. The match could yet get away from Jim McEwen. What a turnaround that would be. Another three Moreno match darts have gone. 87. Moreno from 87 should expect at least a dart at the bolt. It's double five. Game shots and the oh, match. Oh, wow. Moreno Jim McEwen Michael. just couldn't get over the line. He was 3-1 up. He had multiple match opportunities and darts and just couldn't close out the game. Moreno Michaels just clawed it back, ends up with that victory on the double five. It wasn't that Moreno got better, it's that Jim dropped off significantly. And that moves Moreno Michaels up to the top of the table on eight points. Coming up next, Tony O'Shea takes on Wayne Jones. Wayne, you require 24. Game, shot, and the Jones match. Wayne Jones. Gets it done, and this is getting very, very interesting. Some competitive matches so far this evening. Tony O'Shea with one win. That was against Scott Walters. But Wayne Jones with a win against Tony O'Shea, and he was good value for it, an average of 95.61 and that means that he's tied on six points with Tony O'Shea and with Jim McEwen who he's going to play in a couple of games time. Moreno Michaels is out on top and he's looking to extend that lead when he plays the man at the bottom, Scott Walters, in a couple of minutes time. Michael's Scott, chances will still be a win away but not Game sure where the win might come from. Walters wins, Scott Walters. finally, off the mark. And don't forget what we said before the start of this match. He himself could still go through. He won't be thinking about that at this point. Just a consolation as far as he's concerned at the moment. But stranger things have happened. In fact, strange things have happened to him, against him. Will one go four in this evening? Stay tuned here at the Super Series to find out. Jim McEwen then to edge closer to qualification to move on to eight points. Two tens. A pair of fives. No oh, score. Just cannot seem to. When you require 40. The winning line tonight. Chance after chance to win matches. An absolute carbon copy of the game with game Moreno. The sixth leg. Now Wayne, Wayne Jones, Jones becomes the favourite here to win this one. Due to the fact that he's going to have the advantage of throw. Jones will get a dart at tops. 58. Both players have mismatched darts now. Jimmy require 14. And Jim McEwen comes back for an awkward double seven. Game but this shot time and he nails it. Jim McEwen. And finally Jim McEwen takes the checkered flag. And Chucky, the reigning champion, edges closer to Saturday night and the title defence may well continue. It was actually a decent performance from Jim McEwen, but he could have crossed the line earlier. So much drama self-inflicted tonight by McEwen, who gave up a 3-1 lead in his first match and lost that game, but he manages 
to pit Wayne Jones at the post. Surviving a match start in the process, McEwen moves on to eight points with Moreno Michaels. Tony O'Shea hoping to get there as well. He takes on Moreno after the break. Game but Moreno shot. Michaels has secured Moreno his Michael. spot at finals night on Saturday at the Super Series. He sees off Silverback in a last leg decider in another dramatic starting duel tonight and another game that's gone against a throw. That's all six of the matches now being won by the player who did not have the darts in the first leg. Moreno Michaels won't care about that. When he goes into his last match against Wayne Jones, he knows he is already through. He's safe. Wayne Jones now sitting in third place, looking to capitalise on that defeat for Tony O'Shea when he takes on Scott Walters. Wayne, you require 161. Oh, on the third that is leg. absolutely beautiful. Game and Wayne shot. Jones gets a and job done in style. Wayne Jones. 116 checkout for Wayne Jones. Uh, victory that puts him in with a very good chance of qualifying. And a defeat that sends Scott Walters out after a Difficult week's work, but look at those numbers from Wayne Jones. The 100 average, the 161 checkout, the 6140s and the 2180s. A really, really eye-catching display from the Wanderer who may be wandering through to finals night. Jim McEwen might be about to join him and all will be settled if he can beat Tony O'Shea after this short break. 72 for Tony O'Shea. Remember, McEwen is a... A leg away from qualification. He's 40 points away from qualification. Game shot on the second leg. He's 501 Tony points O'Shea. away from qualification. Because Tony O'Shea has levelled. Looking at some outcomes. Just a... 122. Jim McEwen Tony just need to win 66. the match to be safe at the end of it. Apologies for a slight miscommunication earlier. Tony O'Shea, of course, Game needs to win the match the to have any leg. chance. And Tony O'Shea. Big defeat here for Jim McEwen. Could be very costly. McEwen for tops. Oh, Game that is cruel for leg. Tony O'Shea. Jim McEwen. Whether it was a miscount or a bad bit of sight from so Tony O'Shea. No, she's he's miscounted. No score. He's busted his score. What was he thinking? Was he thinking 81, maybe? They went for the trouble. He probably started off at 61, and then when he missed the number, it might have reset his his brain a little bit. 99. Did he think he'd hit the single so 10? Tony requires was it 61. No. Sighting issue? I think it was 81. I think that's what he thought he had there. Would have thought he'd had the 51 after the treble 10. Well, it ends up on double 16 43. anyway, but hasn't gone in. This could be a real Jimmy twist. Jimmy requires 70. McEwen for tops. Oh, Ain't that is cruel for Tony O'Shea. Jim McEwen. Whether it was a miscount or a... Bad bit of sight from so Tony O'Shea. For Tony O'Shea. Well, he had his chance. He missed his chance. He bust his chance. And now Jim McEwen has his. Game. And Jim shot McEwen takes and the match. it. Jim McEwen. The title defense is on. Jim McEwen, the Series 5 champion at the Super Series, is through to finals night. Wayne Jones goes through as well, but Tony O'Shea crashes out in the cruelest of fashions. Had the opportunity to get the match won. It was a glittering performance up until that bus score when he went for the wrong double. And Jim McEwen snatched the last couple of legs to pick up the points that sees him go through to finals night. Wayne Jones with him. Tony O'Shea is out. Moreno Michaels also through, and he takes on Wayne Jones in a couple of minutes' time.
Moreno requiring 92. 72 remaining. 24 remaining. Game shot Nothing on the remaining. fourth leg. Moreno Michael. One Michaels. more leg to win the match. Fifth leg, it's Moreno. To Moreno requiring 40. So, to top the group B table of Chops and Moreno Michael is Michaels. the winner of the group. A 4 1 success. Wayne Jones is going through with him. And that last defeat leaves a bitter taste in the mouth of Wayne Jones. But it is Moreno Michaels who picks up the points, gets a 4 1 win, tops the table, and goes through alongside Wayne Jones and Jim McEwen, who plays his last match and our last match against Scott Walters next. Game, shot, and the match. But it will be Scott Walters. off the back of a defeat. Scott Walters, with just his second win in Group B, gets the better of Jim McEwen. A 4-1 success. There are the numbers. 88.81 the average. A couple of maximums in there for Scott Walters as well. But Jim McEwen goes down for one. His title defense, though, remains intact. He's going to be in action on Saturday. McEwen finishing second in Group B behind Moreno Michaels, of course, a man that he beat in that Champions Week final. And Wayne Jones, the other player that is through from that group. So McEwen signs off the group with a defeat, but he will be back in action at finals night. Yeah, defeat for Jim McEwen in that one, but irrelevant in the end. What have you made of his campaign overall? Disappointing, but good. He's not going to be happy with the performance, but it's not always about performance, it's about results. It's a results business. We don't give you any extra for having a good average. And that's what he's got to remember as well. Last time he came here, he didn't even get the opportunity to play on Saturday night. So a big performance from Jim, and he's be more than happy to have that chance. When he reflects back after he sort of gets over the disappointment that he hasn't played how he wanted to. Yeah, and when it comes to Jim McEwen, is it important that he doesn't actually reflect too much on tonight? Because yesterday he played so well, played with so much freedom, and maybe he could overanalyze what happened tonight ahead of finals night. Absolutely. People fall in that trap all the time, and you, it's easy to do because we do want to play our best. We do feel like maybe we feel a bit vulnerable when we're not playing our best, but we're still getting those results. Think I'm going to get caught out if I don't pick this up. But people feel that about Jim McEwen. They'll be scared to play him. They know what he's capable of. And he's got to remember that on the flip side rather than looking around the room. Confirmation then of all 10 results tonight. It really has been a drama-filled evening of action. So many twists and turns in terms of the league standings. For Tony O'Shea, he has played so, so impressively. And it was just that one error in his last match that really cost him. It knocked him out of a possibility, didn't it? But I think he's going to be very happy with how he played. He was unsure himself in regards to what he would have expected from this. But the miscount, as that is his own mistake, that is where you sort of feel disappointed because it wasn't that your opponent did something brilliant to knock you out. It was a mistake. And so devastating for him that that is the final memory that he'll have from what was up to that point such a positive campaign Wayne Jones though has managed to make it through to finals night he was the standout performer tonight wasn't he oh he's brilliant consistency was what we said about the start of the night and that's how I've described him and I would describe him over his entire career I'd say what a consistent player always in quarterfinals last 16s of most of the PDC events in his prime however tonight took it up another level and he'll be happy with that I was having a good chat with him earlier on he knows he's made a lot of sacrifices to be here this week so he wants to cash in he wants to make the most of it and he's got a right good chance tomorrow as for Moreno Michels had a little chat with him once he'd finished his campaign said he's going to need to be better tomorrow I think we all know that that's the case consistency is going to be the key because his final match was really impressive but he needs to perform at that level over the course of tomorrow night and that's what he's been lacking, isn't he? He hasn't had that consistency across his whole campaign from Monday morning to now. But essentially, 
He's done the job. It doesn't matter about what's happened in the week now. It's knockout darts tomorrow night, and it's going to be quite crucial that he does hit the ground running because if he doesn't, that negativity of what's happened in the week will creep back in. Yeah, one area that he's been pretty consistent is those three-figure out shots. He's taken out 14 over the course of the week. Confirmation of the league standings, then the final Group B table. And it is Marina Michels who finished top on 12 points. Jim McEwen second on 10 and then Wayne Jones on eight. And now we'll move on to our group breakdown for tomorrow evening. And we can see how the players are split. Of course, Christian De Boer was the first player through to finals night. He came through Group A. Marina Michels winning Group B. McEwen in second and Wayne Jones in third. And then Group C, of course, which reached its conclusion this afternoon. Kevin Painter, the winner, Mark Dudbridge in second. Would it be fair to say that Dudbridge is probably fancying his chances of coming through that field? I don't think any of those players are going to look at that field and think, I can't win this. I think everyone's going to feel they've got a good opportunity here. And with that in mind, I'd hate to be pricing that up because that is absolutely brutal. Everyone's going to feel they've got an opportunity. Wayne Jones is going to feel like he's got a chance. Jim McEwen knows he can do it. Kevin Painter, the fight that we saw from him. He'll be well up for the battle tomorrow and we will probably be quite offended at the fact we've not <laughs> been tipping him up. And with that, we'll feel he's got something to prove. And when he feels he's got something to prove, we normally see the best. Yeah, it's an exciting night in Prospect. Make sure you join us from 7.30 p.m. for finals night. Our reigning Series 5 champion is going to be in the field, as is the player he beat in the final.